Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start off 2020 by welcoming you to Let's Play Ghost 1.0. This game came out in 2016, and it's a Metroidvania title where you play as an AI who, apparently, can freely leave her android body to possess the bodies of other robots she encounters. Before we jump in, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Now without further ado, let's play Ghost 1.0. Ah, yes. I have to do it through the keyboard, or it interprets E as Enter. So it just enters whichever uh, button on the fake keyboard you're over. You cannot capitalize any letters except the first one, for some insane reason. Survival mode, a roguelike experience which rewards skillful play and survival with a greater challenge and huge variety of items. Story progress autosaves with every room and death. Player receives uh, items randomly every life. Difficulty increases the longer you survive. On death, lose all weapons power-ups. I don't know why that one's first, because this is clearly how you're supposed to do it, at least the first time. Classic mode, a casual experience focused on becoming more powerful through the game by farming items. Story progress auto-saves every room and death. Uh, player chooses which items to purchase. Difficulty increases gradually over the game. On death, lose unsaved items. Easy, for beginners with little experience in action RPGs and platform games. Missions require less items, fewer enemies, easier bosses. Medium, for average players familiar with Metroidvania-style games. It's really funny that they'd actually use that term. Missions require a few less items. Hard, only for experienced gamers if we already finished the game in medium. Well, screw you, I'm gonna go on the default one. Ghost, do you hear me? Loud and clear. You're coming up to the security checkpoint. We're going to halt communications until you reach your destination. Enjoy the ride. And the new star product of the giant Nakamura Corporation has become a revolution in artificial intelligence. We are talking about the Naka, a new robot that has become the perfect housekeeper in millions of homes around the world. It imitates human behavior so well that it can understand, learn, and do anything. Those fools are playing God. They have no idea what they're doing. They constructed a whole new intelligent race. Artificial beings who can think like us, have their own desires, and make their own decisions, but without human limitations. Do you know what this means? I know. The potential of this new intelligence is infinite. And it must be ours. Ghost, we will sneak you into the Nagamora space station conspicuous storage container. Once inside, your mission is to find the space station's core and copy Nakamura's primary artificial intelligence algorithms. We will be in constant communication to assist you when needed. Nakamura's inner defenses will be so be ready to face heavy resistance. We only have one chance. Do not fail us. Operations Chief here. You should already be inside. Switch on your camera hack system. Alarms disabled and no contacts nearby. It's clear. Our IT team is 
trying to open that vertical door. We will need some time. Ghost, Boogan here. I provided you with a discharge gun. It has capacitors which hold a maximum of 32 rounds at a time. They're always recharging, so ammo will always only be a few seconds away. Unlimited ammo, huh? Let's take this toy for a spin. While you're busy with that door, I'll have fun testing this beauty on some crates. You know, I assumed that uh, the character is an AI, given that, well, the way they talk about this. But, uh. You yeah, okay? I assumed that the character was an AI, given the whole, you know, body transfer thing, but the way, they, the way they talk about the mission objective, it's like nobody's invented an AI before these people made this maid robot. with that guy anyway. Oh. No. Seems like a rather steep staircase. Houston, I see a lot of robots moving crates across an overhead bridge. Those could be supplies moving in and out of Nakamura. Ghost. Find a way into that corridor. Quietly, if you don't mind. Roger. So if I'm not a robot, or an AI, maybe I'm just a human operative who is remotely operating this uh, android. So that seems a bit overly complicated, to be frank. like a century ahead. Houston wants stealth? I'll show him stealth. Okay, Ghost. Keep out of sight. I see where this is going. <laughs> okay. I like her. I like her a lot. <laughs> that isn't where I thought that was going. Hmm. I like that. They set up these, like, channels so you can sneak around. And then in the cutscene, she just blows the guy away. Nope, fuck it. <laughs> this is my I my idea of stealth. Houston, we have a problem. Of course. The panel says it requires security clearance blue. We already have our team working on it. It should be opening now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh. Nice one. Ghost, our IT team seems to have encountered a problem. Could you investigate the area? Uh, just a moment. I'm going to adjust something on my recording program. 
Let's see if that helps. The uh, HUD for my recording program, which you guys shouldn't be able to see. Just so happens to be in the upper right corner, so it was overlapping some of the instructions uh, I was receiving there. Nice. The store page for this game didn't exactly call it a horror game. A horror game. Uh, didn't exactly call it a comedy game. Sorry, I was thinking of it being a nice contrast from the evil within. Um. It didn't call it a comedy game, but it did say the story was written with humor in mind. Houston, I'm in front of a strange device. Look, they have a 3D printer. If we can scan the model of our robot, we could print from there. You mean we could create more robots if Ghosts gets destroyed? That's it, man. Jesus, it's like having infinite lives. Houston, are you there? Sorry, Ghost. Operations Chief here. Access the far terminal for us. Acknowledged. Houston, I'm in front of the terminal. Instruction? Connect the transmission device to the console. I'm on it. Device connected. Can you access it? Bingo! Link has been established. All right, Ghost. This printer will allow us to create a new robot for you should your current one be destroyed. Place yourself on the printer. We're going to scan you. Acknowledged. So is that big guy, the, the, uh, the voice disguised chief? Or is he someone else? What? Scan finished. We can continue. I did not see what that, uh... Let me try something. Oh. Shit. I hit A trying to reaccess this machine and it just instantly dismissed a box that appeared up in the corner. Well, sucks to be me, I guess. Welcome back, Ghost. Sorry about wrecking your Oh, alright, if I'm breaking everything, then fine, fine! What? Scan finished. We can continue. Oh, rad. Tip, death. If you are destroyed, a new robot will be printed. Okay. All is well. I even got to scratch that itch. Ghost, Operations Chief here. We're diverting resources to opening the next door. Please stand by. Man, why do you say Operations Chief? And what's up with the voice modulator? To make her comfortable, she's used to large operations with established companies. If she finds out it's just us two, it may make teamwork more complicated. I don't know, man. You're making it plenty complicated already. We're paying for her services, right? That fact alone should be enough for her to work with us. Trust me, Boogan. Appearances are very important. Do you two realize that you've left your comm lines open? Hello. You've reached the voice mailbox of... Operations Chief. Please leave your message after the beep. You don't have to pretend you're some sort of secret organization. Beep. Hello, this is Ghost. Victor told me you're two geeks with money who hired my services. Am I right, Operations Chief? Or should I say, Jacker? Bloody Victor! <laughs> ah, she caught you! Victor and I are going to have a serious talk later. Proceed, Ghost. The door is now accessible. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Oh, 
Oh shit. Why did that happen? The defense turrets just shot two of their own. Maybe because of a certain power outage. Don't know what you're talking about. Feel free to open fire. I don't know how I feel about that auto aim. I just really need the way it uh, reloads the ammo one by one. Oh god. No! Knock that shit off. Why are the boxes exploding the loudest part? Oh god, you really do bring them back. That sucks. the jump button, left bumper. Kind of assumed, since that's the button you use to drop through the platforms. Oh! Left trigger makes you do that action roll. Screen shake! Anything tucked away in here? No. I guess those guys have like laser claws or something. For your information. Houston, I'm busy. <sighs> All right. What were you saying? Three androids being dropped on your position. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. Particle gun. Basic gun shoots particle bullets at unlimited range. Not what I meant to see. Okay, uh... Is there, like, not a map? Oh! Let's not look there. I can't go to the map yet. Fair? Eat shit! Huh. Is that way more damage than I thought, or did I not get any health back from that? That's not health. Oh, I guess I just recharged my ammo. I suppose that'll come in more handy when I inevitably get a gun that doesn't have unlimited bullets. Plus, this feels unnecessary. Oh. Oh. Eat several dicks. Hmm. Once again, I find myself without any bones and organs. Give me a wrench. 
range. Ah! Shit. Crouching! Oh, you done fucked up. I'm assuming that's a hundred damage. I if aiming at the mouse is any better. Probably. But whoever played a Metroidvania game with mouse and keyboard controls, honestly. Yes! Houston, oh. that box had a strange cube. Shall I pick it up? Ghost, hold on while we scan it. Do you know what it is? This is fascinating. It's energy in cube form that can be absorbed and collected within the chassis. Did she just find Energon? Funny. No, not Energon. Man, not sure what it's used for up there. When in doubt, follow RPG rules. Pick up everything because you'll need it later. Oh, not again, please. Jacker, this is real life, not a game. What's the difference, Dr. Falcon? Collect them as you see them. We'll find out their purpose later, Ghost. Acknowledged. You know, I was going to make that joke. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Energon cubes from the old 80s Transformers cartoon. I thought it was getting smaller while they talked. Houston, we have another complication. I see the door from here. Sit tight while I hack into the relevant node. How long is it going to take? I don't know. Go for a walk or something. Take a walk? Sure. I'll do that. There's X to take a walk. There we go. Let's see if that robot I saw is smart enough to control. I guess this does explain why she's called Ghost, huh? In Ghost form, you can control any android by getting close and pressing X to leave the host robot. Press X again or let it be destroyed. Ooh, I'm spooky. Ugh, let's get this over with. Where's that panel? I can't attack. I can, however, action roll. Time to head back. I don't know if I can leave the room. Well, not at the moment, obviously. <laughs> what the hell? The door is open. Heading through. Man, ghost, what was that? I was instructed to take a walk. So I did. You're not gonna explain what that was? Nope. Trade secret. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> More stealth. <laughs> there goes the timer, though, so I guess that'll do it for this first episode of Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to continue exploring Nakamura Station and uh, continue being stealthy. Later!